This is Dr. Vincenzo here to talk about a new discovery recently acquired by the SCP Foundation. Uh, I don't usually do this. Okay, so we found this thing and I made up a little report on it because someone told me to. So, uh, yeah, yeah, here it is. Here's the, re here's the report. <clears throat> do I sound all right? All right. SCP-2598. Object class, safe. Special Containment Procedures SCP-2598 is to be contained in a standard insectoid containment cell at Site-19. The cell is to be fitted with a food supply capable of sustaining SCP-2598 indefinitely, uh, as well as having a hanging light source. This was requested by 2598. Description Object 2598 is a large yellow underwing moth, otherwise known as Nocturna Prown... Pr uh, fucking Christ with the Latin names. Noctua Pranuba. That's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. Wearing a small helmet. Apart from this and its behavior, no other anomalous characteristics are discernible. SCP-2598 is able to communicate with humans by colliding with... Their heads in a pattern consistent with American Morse code. While SCP-2598 is apparently able to hear and understand English, it is only able to communicate with a return message in this manner. We have uh, specially designed automatic translation pads uh, which it can collide with to communicate with us, but it has thus far seemed to prefer to just bash its head into uh, other people. During conversation, SCP-2598 will invariably attempt to redirect the conversation towards a sales pitch for, specifically, a helmet designed for, uh, moths. Yeah. So, uh, interview 25981, the following interview was conducted by Dr. Richard Eads, who initially discovered SCP-2598 while on location in Redacted. Dr. Eads was chosen as the research team leader because of his efforts in stealing my fucking thesis report. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. In his efforts containing SCP-2598. According to Dr. Eads' discovery report, which should read my discovery report, but whatever, it's fine. He first discovered SCP-2598 by noticing its irregular flight patterns, then its helmet, and later discovering its communicative abilities. That motherfucker saw a moth with a helmet, kept it as a pet, and I only, I, I was the one who knew Morse code. He's stealing my fucking results. Alright, whatever. His fluency with Morse code. During this interview, Dr. Eats remained seated in uh, SCP-2598's containment cell while SCP-2598 communicated to him by its preferred uh, method. All replies were transcribed by Dr. Eads. For some fucking reason, he wanted to do it himself. Whatever. Can you hear and understand me all right, SCP-2598? Yes, hello, doctor. I can hear you just fine. Thanks to the sound amplifying technology of Moth Helm. Excellent. Now, uh, SCP-2598, could you tell me anything about where you, uh, originated from? I was once like you, doctor, and like everyone else out there with no purpose in my life until I discovered the beauty of Moth Helm. Also safe for children, no chance of getting stuck in throats. I see, uh, so you're saying that you were able to comprehend spoken language or communicate as we can now before you came into the position of the helmet? It was helmets? like a door being opened before me, Doctor, and I could see the light. It was all possible because of Moth Helm. You yourself can own today for as little as three easy payments of nineteen ninety nine. You're aware, of course, that I couldn't possibly buy such a helmet. It's far too small. Yes, but perhaps you have some moth friends who could benefit from the transcendent power of moth helm. Also, it is a great stocking stuffer. Uh, so yeah, that's the thing. Uh, I'm gonna be real honest. I'm not 100% that this thing needs to be contained even. He, uh, he just kind of seems nice. I kind of want to buy one of those hats, uh, so uh, I'm going to find a place where the retailer is. I'll, uh, update my report with findings once he leads me to the place. If uh, anyone wants to me to bring back any moth uh, helm thingies back, just leave some cash in my inbox or something. I don't know. It seems pretty affordable to me. Good deal. I'll get my kids something for Christmas.